Yes, I know. Why am I wasting my time on a software that clearly doesn't want to work and just gives me a blank screen? And the software I'm talking about is Pro Tools First by Avid. In my last video, I showed you how I actually downloaded a fresh copy version 2021.6 on a laptop that actually has a fresh Windows 10 installed with its latest um, updates of service packs and it wouldn't work. But I do have a solution for it. And if you are having that problem of not being able to create any projects, I have a solution. Just I will leave a card and a link in the description from to my previous video. And uh, in the description of that video, you will find the solution. And my solution was uh, installing Visual Studio Runtime. So that works. So now I can actually go file and let's say create a new one. I'm just create a new one. I'm just going to call it test. Let's put the date 2021 of 07. That's July. And the date is 20. So let's create. Previously, it would do something and it would never come up to this screen. Now it does. And all I had to do is reinstall that uh, runtime. Avid, you should have actually had that corrected in the first place. And I have a clue that it has something to do with Airs Expand 2, which is a really old software that's being installed and it's actually installing and somehow overwriting a newer version of the runtime, stopping Pro Tools from running. It took me about a couple hours to search and find that information and about no more than two minutes and it's up and running. So now I have Pro Tools. Again, I can obviously create tracks. Let's say I'm going to create 16 tracks, all mono audio. And there we go. All the tracks are here, ready to record, ready to do some work. And here is mixing console as well. All good. Now, I should also mention that I did download install Pro Tools first, the 2021.6 edition on my old iMac, which is mid-2011. So it's 10-year-old lap uh, computer. And it installed and worked from first go. No issues. And I actually created three projects in Pro Tools first on my iMac. And now I am on my laptop in my studio. And the whole idea of being able to save the projects onto the cloud, as you can see right there, so that you can move from one computer to the next, log into the account. As you can see, I've logged in. And I have one, two, three projects which are on the cloud and being, be able to continue working. Let's say my Mac computer was in my studio in my laptop, I'm on the go and I want to keep working on the projects. But when I double click, nothing happens. It just doesn't load. So let me close this again. Close the project. Want to save it? Yeah, let's just save it. That's just saving locally, not to the cloud. And you can tell the difference because these ones have blue sort of line in them. These are gray. So the gray ones are local. So it doesn't have the backup to cloud ticked. But these ones, it's ticked, but I, I can't even do anything else other than delete them, right? So if I want to open that one, I could wait forever here, which I did. I actually waited like 15 minutes to see if something's going to come up because it is 16 tracks of audio of that project that I wanted to load and continue working here. But it doesn't. When I go to my Avid link, and let's have a look. Projects. Looking for Pro Tools projects. There we go. There's the three projects. This is what I've done yesterday. I worked on it. But this is, information is useless because you can't even invite anybody else. But that's fine. I just want to work myself. Right? And I can't load it. Now, in my Avid link here, the project, it's, you can see I've used 700... 17.9 megabytes in the cloud. The projects are there, but I can't open it. Uh, 
So now I have to search and find out why it won't allow me to open my project, even though they appear here. Now, I can certainly open my other projects, let's say the previous one, which was created here. The input's missing, that's fine. That's only because uh, I changed audio interfaces. That's what it's complaining about. But it, this is there. That's the previous one that I was playing around with. And I even have my um, UBI workstation all running good. But I can't seem to open my... No. Checking project status and nothing. And even if I go into Windows Task Manager to see if it's going to download anything or do anything, uh, open project, let's say this one. No, no process of trying to open and download. Oh, there you go. I hope this was entertaining for you as much as it was for me. Till next time, as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. And I'll catch you in the next one.